when when I get there, I get the, all the information, and then I there put it on the, on the video. Good, because then then it helps everybody. Yeah, of course. Yep, yep. All right, buddy. 안녕하세요, 그랜키안입니다. 오늘 제가 PBA 전설 같은 분을 만나러 가는 날입니다. 그래서 아침부터 너무 설레서 영상을 켜게 됐는데. 아, 너무 설레가지고 그 잠도 잘못 잤거든요. 오늘 굉장한 분을 만나러 가니까 불링장에서 뵈시죠. 불링장으로 출발. 자, 저는 지금 이제 인천 계양구에 있는 더 스트라이크 불링장에 왔습니다. 여기에 과연 오늘 누가 오셨을지 들어가 보겠습니다. 더 스트라이크 아침부터 볼링장에 굉장히 많은 사람이 모여 있는 것으로 보여지는데 저기 굉장히 덩치가 큰 분도 보입니다 네, 김태환 프로님 네 안녕하세요 아예 올 때부터 <웃음> 여기서부터 이렇게 즐겨보더라고요 명훈 형님 여기 찌개, 안녕하세요 어, 네. 어, 그때 보고 처음 본것 같은데 김사라 프로님 안녕하세요 <웃음> 여기 마스코트시잖아요. 아, 우리 여기 유튜, 유튜버들. 아, 직장인인데요. 네? 직장인이라고요? 오늘 연관에 오셨나봐요. 이런 거, 이런 거는 게 어딨어요? 네. 프로암 대회 상품입니다. 우와, 마인드셋도 주네요. 평택에서 자주 뵈던 분을 만났습니다. 안녕하세요. 정기의 프로님. 멀리 오셨네요. 유튜브, 유튜브 크랭키안입니다. 네, 오늘, 오늘 멋진 모습 기대하고 있겠습니다. 점점 강하게, 윤남규님. 아, 요즘 너무 약해. 뭐가 약해? 다 약해졌어. 다 약해졌어. 점점 약해졌어? 네. 아, 점점 건강하게로 가야겠다. 그리고 점점 건강하게 해주세요. 건강하게 할게요. 팀 SG 우리 회장님. 이 정도? 어, 회장님. 춘천 회장. 어, 춘천 회장이죠. 그리고 여기 멀리서 오신 우리 송씨의 자랑. 송생준 송생준 파이팅 송씨가 잘 돼야 돼 오케이 So how can I call you Mr. Parker Bone the third? Parker Bone the third is fine See you don't have to call me Mr. Okay Make me sound old Okay All right um, Parker Bone the third Nice to meet you My name What? is Han Han S AKA Cranky Han Cranky Hunt. That's yes. right, Cranky Hunt. I heard about you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, let's start. How many times have you visited Korea? I was telling everybody, I think about 10 times. 10 times? Yeah. Right. Um, did you like Korean food? Do I like Korean food? You like Korean I really like Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue yeah. is the best. Yes, it really I is. Yes. I have to be the first to admit, I don't really like kimchi. Okay. But I'm not a big spicy guy. Right. So even back in America, when we go someplace, let me say, down south, New Orleans, or in Texas where you get the real hot and spicy things, that's not for Parker Bone. Right, right, right. I get it. No chilies for Parker Bone. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> keep me out. Right. I, I actually mentioned you when you were on the lane at the 2023 USBC Masters Round 4 match with Jesse Callio. Mm -hmm. You're struggling with the seven. Right, right. And your daughter came up to you and say, <laughs> And now dad can strike, he's hitting the pocket, but all he does is flat seven. So I'm gonna go ask him, fill your wrist. And I have a mic, so we're just gonna see his reaction silently. No, secretly. To get the seven out, why don't you fiddle with your wrist a little bit more? Thank you. You're welcome. I don't think he likes 
liked my answer. No? I think he's already trying that. It just doesn't work. And gave you the same advice you always gave her. You laughed when she said it, but after that, you only got strikes. So did your daughter's advice help you after all? Uh, I have to give her credit. She must have said something that got me thinking a little bit differently than the tunnel I was in. Right. And that happens to everybody. You know, as a younger bowler, you get stuck doing your thing. Right. And you don't see anything else. And if it's right, you don't need to do anything else. Right. But if it's not, you need to change something. Sometimes you need to change it drastically. But at that moment in time, if I'm leaving just the seven, I'm very, very close. Yes. What she said, I do not remember. But all of a sudden, I started striking. So I'm going to say she must have said something that, bingo, it clicked. It was just a click. Yes. It was very funny to me because she kind of said it like kind of like in a way like she was joking mm -hmm. because like oh my dad always said oh don't change your bow your bow's fine just <laughs> just fiddle your wrist yep 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 <laughs> you smiled laughed and fist bump and strikes we all as bowlers we get frustrated by not striking when we're hitting the pocket right but the last thing that you need to hear is someone really come at you and pick on you. So if you say it in a meaningful way, but you say it jokingly, so you're sprinkling it, you subtly get your conversation or your point across, it eases the tension so that you don't go here, you go like this, and now you can make a good pass. And the next thing you know, Sometimes something really good can happen. Why? So Sydney was. I got. I got. I'm gonna give her the credit. <laughs> right. Your kids are all bowlers, and did you push them to get into bowling, or they naturally get into bowling? I don't push them to get into anything. I had the choice growing up to do anything that I wanted to do. Right. Fortunately for me, I really loved bowling. It was something my mom took me to the bowling center when I was eight years old. And I pulled her pant leg to take me back ever since. Right. So we introduced our kids to bowling, but we also introduced them to t-ball, to tennis, to golf. Now, obviously, they played volleyball. Okay, there are many other things that we introduced them to, but they always somewhat migrated back to bowling. Our daughter was into dance. She loves to dance. And at the end of the day, we just want them to be happy. Right. Do whatever you want to do. And, and when I say we, by all means, folks, you need to understand, I include my wife in that because my wife is the one that takes them everywhere because dad's job would be out on the road somewhere away from home. <laughs> right. So you, you're, your kids are all like all get into bowling just because they like it. Yes. You know, the boys really love bowling. I don't believe that our daughter loves it as much as the boys do. Right. And that's okay but she really has a liking for it. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when she's on the lanes and she's going to compete, and I'm gonna say it honestly, she starts her first round of junior gold in the USA in about four or five hours. Wow. Okay. Brendan is very popular among Korean bowlers. Oh boy. <laughs> Do you think he can achieve more than you with his career in the future? I think anything is possible. I really do. I say to my kids all the time, I hope that you're twice as good as, as dad ever was. Right. And they go, yeah, well, dad, you set the bar really, really high. Right. It doesn't matter how high I set it. Go out there and achieve whatever you want. And right. if you only get half of that, mm -hmm. I still think they'll be very successful. Mm -hmm. But whatever they do, bowling included, just go out there and do me a favor and give it your best. 
don't just go out there a little bit and make an excuse as to why it doesn't always work. If something's not right, you have to figure it out. I know I work very hard at my game. Maybe not as hard now. Uh, keep in mind, I just turned 61. Okay? So I don't work as hard now as I did when I was their age. But I want them to go out and enjoy themselves. And, you know, our one son goes to SCAD in Savannah, Georgia. That's Justin. Okay. He has his own YouTube channel. Yep. Brandon goes to Weber down in Florida. Yep. That's really, that. that's the home of Kegel area. Yep. And, and he enjoys him. And our daughter, she, she just signed starting next month. She's going to go to Vanderbilt. The three of them have different colleges, different ways that they do it. And that's okay. Be the person that you want to be. Right. And then you're the, just a supporter. I'm just dad. You're just dad. And my wife is just mom. <laughs> so I think that he has a possibility to be more successful here in Korea than I was. I, I enjoy myself every time I come here. I haven't bowled many events, maybe four or five, a handful. Uh, but when I say that, he's got a lot more power than dad ever had. Right. Let's just see where, where it goes to. But please, by all means, continue to be his fan and or Justin and enjoy every moment you have with them. Right. <laughs> Is there a competitor from your career who you felt was your rival? Well, I, I mean, at different times and different stages. Okay. The man that I really had the toughest time to beat was Mike Albee. Okay. It seemed like no matter what I did, Mike Albee was always another pin better than me. Okay? <laughs> Jason Couch was my roommate for probably 11 or 12 years on tour. Right. As much as we were rivals on the lanes, right. we are best friends off the lanes, okay? We help each other even when we're bowling tournaments, but we know that when we meet each other, he knows he better bring everything to the table because he knows I'm gonna bring everything to the table. Right. That's the way that we kind of talked about it, discussed it, and we, it made us become better players because we pushed each other right, right, along right. the way. Another guy, I don't really call him my rival because I love him to death, is my brother-in-law, Doug Kent. Okay. Doug Kent, is his wife and my wife are sisters. Mm -hmm. So when we would compete against each other on tour, the way we looked at it, it was all in the family. Right. It was going to be a win for somebody. Right, 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 right. So what do you think is the most important thing in bowling? I think the most important thing in bowling, to be honest, is you're going to have peaks and you're going to have valleys. Everybody goes through it. I don't care if your name is Walter A. Williams, Pete Weber, Norm Duke, Parker Bone, or Jason Belmonte. Every bowler has it. But when you look at that, the valleys are because you have unfortunate bad frames or frames not filled. So therefore, no matter how high scores get, and we know that scores now are higher than they were 20 or 30 years ago, spares are still the most integral part of our game. You may shoot one or two less now than bowlers of the 60s and 70s did, but you still have to fill those frames. And the bowlers that fill the frames and continue to strike, chances are they're winning most of the tournaments. So you're saying the spare is the most important? Oh my God, yes, absolutely. Korean bowlers, spare is the most important by Pakabun the third. Oh, you're going to, you kids out there, your ball hits a head pin and it goes back and forth a lot of times. But if it misses something, one pin, you still have to figure out how to make that. So if you throw a bunch of strikes in a game and you have one or two, maybe three open frames, I'm going to tell you right now, 200 is a hard number to get to. That's true. I agree. <laughs> Here's a bit meaningful question for you. What was the worst score you ever got in a competition for just one game? <laughs> I know it because I say it all the time. I was in fifth place okay. with only eight games to go. Mm -hmm. Top five make TV. Okay. I'm getting ready to bowl Brian Voss. Okay. I got my practice shots on each lane <coughs> and I'm ready to go. I'm all lined up. In the 10th frame, I made a seven pin and struck on the fill ball for 114. 114. 114. 114. Okay, that was it. And I was no longer in fifth place when I got done with that game. 
Right. It was very, very bad. But it's humbling. It happens. If you think it's not going to happen to you, be rest assured, it happens to everybody at some time. Maybe not 114, but it happens. Try to clean it up and move along. I would say there's a hope for me yet. <laughs> you got you got a chance. <laughs> yeah. So, what did you do with all your prize money? What do I do with all my prize money? <laughs> well, anybody that has a family out there can understand. I have five children, so children cost money. But I feel like we've enjoyed our life. Uh, it, it's not like I live in a gigantic mansion. Maybe big compared to some of the houses here in Korea. I get that, but. I try to have fun. I do a lot of things with my family. I don't keep it all for myself. Uh, my mom passed away a couple years ago, but I feel like my mom, my dad, my sister, my wife's family, we've all shared in some of the pleasures along the way. Right, so you share with your family. Yes, absolutely. I, right behind that, I'm gonna say this. The friends and fans that I have met along the way Pretty much like when we had our pro-am here today. People signed up to come to this, I hope, because they really wanted to spend a couple hours with me. Yes. I think I, en I know I enjoyed myself. You take pictures, you sign autographs, you answer a question if they have one. Very similar to what we're doing here, maybe not exact. But you try to give them that little piece of time that they feel special. It's not very hard to do. I want them to be my fans forever, and if not my fans, a lot of them are young bowlers. Maybe they will be fans of both Brandon and Justin. And um, we're going to do some quick game, which is a ranking Korean bowlers form, that what, what they, they did before. I'll show you some clips in pairs, and please choose the best form each pair. The best form? Each pair. Okay. Okay. So just for bowling form. And there's 16 entries for the qualifier, and let's see who is the best. Okay. 